Hello, today I want to show you how you can use Photoshop inside the Figma. It doesn't mean that you don't need a Photoshop at all, but many of the tools and instruments that Photoshop has, actually this plugin also has. And I'm not talking about AI tool because it's a very powerful tool that you can use in a original Adobe Photoshop. But the thing is that if you want to make some photo editing things that is Figma is not allowing you to do, for example, all we can do is here, just change the images. We can play with the contrast, saturation and so on and so on. But sometimes we want to just cut out something or like play more of the image. And this plugin name is a photo pair. So right click on the free space, then go to the plugins and then manage plugins. The next thing we need to find here is a photo pair. We can just add the photo word and then see the result. And boom, we have this beautiful plugin here with name photo pair. So all you need to do is just click run. So once the uploading process is done and the photo pair installed on your PC, all you need to do is just click on the image, then right click and go to the plugins and find this photo pair. And as you may see here now, we have like very familiar user interface here that looks like a Photoshop. And moreover, you can even save the files as a Photoshop file. So you can share it. You can make some PSD files as well, or you can export it in a different format. But why I'm using this tool myself? For example, if I need to cut out something, I know there is like a lot of AIs today can do it even better, but sometimes they are like missing out and I'm trying to do it myself. Or if I need to make any other photo manipulation, it's here. There is a lot of tools from Photoshop that you can use. So it's like free version of Photoshop. I know that the photo pair, they also have like web interface. So it's more like Figma, but you know, for Photoshop Figma or something like that, it's a not an ad. This is just a widget that I'm using myself for a very long time. And let's talk about this thing. For example, I'm I would take this polygonal lasso select. I hope I pronounced that right. So all I need to do, I want to cut out the star. Then I need to select the star by using that tool. And making like the area I want to cut out from here. So let's make it very quickly. Then I'm clicking Ctrl J, which means I want to cut it out on a new layer. And if I hide everything rest, you'll see that I have this beautiful, beautiful star. And then I can get rid of this background, go to the image, then click to the trim, and then OK. And I will have only one beautiful star here. All I need to do next is click Ctrl S, which means like save and close the plugin. And now I have this arrow here that I can work with. I know it's not that beautiful. It's not that great. I would probably will never use that arrow in my real project. But this is something that I wanted to show you very quickly, like how you can use this plugin yourself. And it's a free Photoshop inside the Figma, which is also quite nice. I hope the tutorial was at least useful for you. You found some new information. If you know any more very nice plugins that people can use in the Figma, please share in the comment section. I will review them for sure. All useful links as always in descriptions. Please subscribe on my channel, smash like and see you in the next one.